Hi guys. So, have you ever wanted to be like someone else? Yes. 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 Sometimes. So turn to your shoulder partners and tell each other when you've wanted to be like someone else. When I want to be like Ryan. I can feel like a basketball. Because he's usually like the three pointers. And um, yeah, she's almost. I've always wanted to be like my older sister. Okay. So this book, boys and girls, is called A Color of His Own by Leo Leone. Okay. And in this book, it's about a chameleon who wants to be like everyone else. He wants to he wants to stop changing colors. You know that chameleons change colors, right? He wants to um, he wants to stay the same color. So it starts out and it shows you different animals. Okay, like a parrot and some goldfish. Different animals that all have their own color. So he, how do you infer he's feeling? Yes. Um, that he's feeling like he wants to be the same color. And how do you infer he's feeling here? Sad. Sad, right. So he's feeling sad because he keeps changing colors and he, he meets another chameleon, okay? And the other chameleon, he, he finds out that friendship is very important, okay? And then in the end, when he has his friend and they change the colors together, look how they are in the end. They're happy, right? Okay, so in this book, you're going to come across the word chameleon. What would you expect the word chameleon to start with? What two letters? See. What two letters? C, C, C and H. So it's C H A, C, and it makes the C sound. It's a little different than what you would expect, okay? You're also going to find a word in the book that's, the word is Heather. What would you expect Heather to start with? H. H, right, do you know the next letters? It would be H-E-A. So turn to page eight, please, and let's look at the, find the, locate the word Heather. Okay, the word Heather. Okay, can you run your finger under the word Heather and say Heather? Heather. 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 Good. Now turn one page. Okay, turn one more page. Okay, locate the word remain. It's on this page. Locate the word remain. What did you expect remain to start with? R-E. But the end of it has M-A-I-N. So it's a little different. You might want to pronounce it Ramon or something like that, but it's remain. It's a long A sound. I wanted you to make sure you knew that. Okay. So um, I want to show you one more text feature. Turn one more page. Okay. Do you see the long dash in between the, the, the sentence? The long dash. What would you think this long dash right here? What do you think that you as a reader should do when you see a long dash? Anshin? It's like a word that stops here and you keep going, like yellow flower. So you keep going? Okay, what do you think, Anna? So I've seen this in a lot of books, and what I think it means is like that. So like you see how they're like, like if you only want like this much space to connect up with their words, so that, so that they don't make it go to continue. Here. Okay, sometimes that is true when you're writing that you start on, over on the next line with a dash. This dash, though, turn back, Colton, and look at it. Colton, this dash wants you to pause. So when we read it, but in autumn, the leaf turned yellow, and so did the chameleon. So you're going to briefly pause your voice. That's what that, pause, that dash is. Okay? okay. All right. Okay, so our purpose for reading this book, the genre of this book, do we think this is fiction or nonfiction? Fiction. 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 It is. So it's to have fun. Today we're going to read and find out what happens to the chameleon and to make a connection to those characters in the story, okay? All right, so begin reading and I'll listen to you guys read. Make sure you are reading in one spot and not getting up, boys and girls. Morgan, sit down, please. You have a response journal. You can use that today. 
And on the tigers, they are struck like tigers. One day, a Colton? Mm -hmm. Do you have a color for Yes. <coughs> I'm afraid not to the other thing. It was older and why don't we stay together? We will still change color when I have a but you and I will always be the one. And so they remain side by side. They will remain together. Good. Anna? And they were in purple and yellow and red with polka dots. And they lived happily ever after. Okay, so why does the chameleon want to be only one color? Anna, why does he want to be only one color? Because um, most animals don't change colors. Right, right. Like so that. um, he's like, well, why do I have to change colors? Right. Can you find an animal in the book that doesn't have to change colors? Ostra? Can you find an animal in the book that doesn't have to change colors? Great. A fish. Got a fish. Colton, can you find one? I am going to be on a pig. A pig. An elephant. Pig. A pig. Good. An elephant. Good. Why would the chameleon change himself to match something else? Why Why did he do that, Nathan? So that he could blend in. So that he could blend in. And why do we want to blend in when we're animals? So that... So that predators don't eat us, that's right. So, do you ever change when you go to different places? Do you change no. how you act? No. Not how you look, but do you change how you act when you go to different places? Sometimes, sometimes. Can you think of a time when you change how you act? At your friend's house? Oh, you want to be on your best behavior so that they'll invite you back, right? Yes. Okay, so, um, are you... If you act differently with your parents and your teacher, sometimes you do, right? You act a little different with your teacher than you do with your parents. Are you the, still the same person? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes, you're still the same person inside, right? Good. Okay, well, today I noticed that when I was listening to you read, Unchin went back and reread the part that said, and on the tigers they are striped. So he noticed that when he read the first one, it didn't sound right. Sound right, right here. When he read it the first time, it didn't sound right, did it? So you went back and you reread the, the sentence again. So good readers do that. They go back, they catch themselves, and they don't just keep going, keep plowing through the words. They catch themselves and go back and reread it to make sure that they understand what's happening. Colton, do you understand? Yes? So that was a great job. 
So remember that good readers also make connections to their to their characters that they're reading about. So did you make any type of connection today? If you did, I want you to think about that and turn to your shoulder partner and talk to each other about your connection. Talk to Ashford yeah. about your connection. Um, What's your connection? So my connection is like, um, like so um, um, I always like every day. I just don't want to like move. I want to stay still. I'm like the king of He just wants to stay in the same color, but I want to stay in the same place. You want to stay in the same place, like Mrs. Lukaszewski's class. Like, I would just, like, stay in my house. Oh, stay in your house. Yeah. <laughs> and not have to go to school. Yeah. I understand, yes. Good. So quickly. So, who could share, Who wants to share their connection to the chameleon? Who wants to share? Anyone want to share that one? Colton, what's your connection? My connection is, like, when it was, like, last night or the night at, like, before last night. Yes. Like, at home, I was having, like, a great time. And like no arguing, no nothing, like mm -hmm. how it normally mm -hmm. is. And then my sister just like comes in and just like ruins it. Oh, I'm sorry. And just goes like. Right. So, and how is that like the chameleon? Can we bring that connection back to the text? It's like. It's kind of like. What I'm saying is like. It's kind of like to like the other animals. It's like they are having like a great time, and then like when like with like the chameleons, that then it's like when like my sister comes in. So how yeah. he's feeling sad was how you were feeling. Like, yeah, like my sis, like, and like it went from like nothing but like calm just to like nothing but arguing and okay. fighting. Okay, so let's listen to one. Oh, okay. So let's listen to one more connection. Nathan, do you want to share your connection to the chameleon? Whenever I was at a restaurant and I got really hungry, I changed my actions. You changed your actions, and that's just like the chameleon does, right? Changes his actions, right? So make sure when you're making those connections and you're responding with a connection that you're always bringing it back to the text and sh and saying, providing text evidence, like so. When you were you changed your actions in the restaurant, it was just like the chameleon changed his color when he was hiding in the heather. See how that would be ch using text evidence? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so let's put our book under our chair real quick. Put it under your chair, and I'll give you a marker. We're going to work on plurals today, adding s or es to the end of words. So, can you write the word leaf on the desk, please? So next to the word leaf, don't erase leaf, but next to the word leaf, how would you write leaves? More than one leaf. Leave, leave that word there, but write, leave, leave it there. Leave that word there and then write the word leaves next to it. Wait, isn't it you just add a Z? I don't know. you got to write it down and see, tell me what you think it is. Write it down. And then I'll, I'll show you what it's supposed to be. Everybody. So All right, just look at yours. You added I E S, you added E S, you added E S, you added a Z, and you added an S. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to write the word leaf. Watch. So if you say the word, say the word leaves. Leaves. What is that vowel, that consonant I'm saying? Leaves. You hear a V? It is a V. L E A V E S. So you change the F to a V and add E S. So fix yours now, please, everyone. Fix yours. Make it look like leaves. Oh, yeah, right. I actually forgot to like change the F mm -hmm. into a V. You don't have to erase the whole thing. I just gave it to you to fix the word leaves. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you another one. Write the word. This 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 animal is in our book. Write the pig. 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 Right, pig. Giant. Pigs. 
Okay. Don't ride it giant, I'm just ride it normal. Okay, how would you write pigs now? Change pig to pigs. Write pigs. Read your book, please. Good. Let me look at how you wrote pigs. Good, you're all correct. So pigs, you just have to add the S. So sometimes you just add an S to the word to make it plural. Okay, what about the word branch? Can you write branch? Write branch. Okay, how would you write the word branches? And not what? Branches. Now write the word branches. Can you make it say branches? Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so this is how you write the word branches. You would add E S to the end. E S. E S. It's okay. So these words are tricky. The more you read, the, the more you will know which words that you add S to, which words you change a, a consonant and add E S, and which words you just add E S. Some words you even drop the Y and add I E S. Like in the word, you write the word baby. I E S. You drop you have to drop the Y on baby mm -hmm. and add I E S. So these words are tricky, that's why we're going over them so that you can be a better speller. I'm Chin. You should not be drawing right now. Okay, erase the table, please. Thank you very much. Take your book and you can share. Take your book. Thank you. Bye.